Okay, so straight off, um, with this discretion, I do feel that this is about your plans and what is um, um, needing to be, dis you know, um, discussed obviously between you and your person. But um, just be careful what you are broadcasting to others at any one time. Um, the discretion is obviously also keeping um, things close to your, to your chest on a need-to-know basis around others, uh, because obviously this is a, a couple's reading or relationship reading, but it can also be bringing in aspects um, externally that may be affecting the relationship. So this is just saying, you know, just be discreet with um, what is occurring either between you or within your relationship or what is um, or what is occurring. Just keep things on a need-to-know basis. Right, so for you, we have um, Butterfly Maiden Transformation, North Node Life's Purpose. Beautiful energy is coming in here. So um, you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Okay, and then we've got North Node Life's Purpose. So this is all about uh, moving forward. This is about really um, uh, coming into your power. Now, um, the transformation card, um, it's saying that, you know, it depends on where you are in this process. You could still be in the caterpillar going into the chrysalis or you could be coming out of the chrysalis, whatever is appropriate for you. But it's a very powerful energy, very transformative, uh, transformative energy, and it can't be rushed, this. Um, and um, you just need to go with the process uh, and not don't be afraid of the changes that are occurring in your life right now, because uh, what it's saying is that on the other side of the transformation is um, a new life, a new way of being, a new whatever is new for you, um, just, uh, you know, really a transformation. And don't be afraid. Don't don't allow um, the changes to overwhelm you or be resistant. Just go with what needs to be done. Initiate whatever you need to do. Being a Leo, um, you know, you don't necessarily like changes simply because of the uh, your very fixed sign. Um, although um, you are fiery, so you know when you get it, when you when you decide that you're going to change, then you change. So it's a case of just accepting what is coming to you. But it's all good because you've got um, North Node uh, coming in for you now. This is about being in your life purpose or finding your life purpose, or it could be to do with your person connecting with you to bring in. Your life's purpose in some way, shape, or form. Now, this can take many, many forms. It can be children. It can be having a family. It can be working together. It can be completing um, uh, sort of your karma with this person, um, or you could be starting um, things that together. You know, it, it can apply in many, many different ways. But it's about being on the path, on the on the on the way. Uh, you know, the way that you have decided for yourself before you incarnated here. What it is that you decided to work on. And it's getting on track with that. So this is very, very positive. It could be quite a turning point or an epiphany. Um, it really can be quite a, a, a big change, a big shift coming in. It could, it could be purely uh, realizational. So sort of something descends upon you and you suddenly see what you just could not see before. Um, or you could be moved rapidly from one place to another. Or you could just find something could just fall into place for you. But it's really is right place, right time. That is this card. Um, it's a very, very, it's all positive karma comes in with this. So um, all the good you've done um, in previous um, incarnations and also obviously in this life will, will come in for you now. And um, it really is a, it, it, it's quite a turning point. So it, in some cases, it can actually create quite a wake when you start to turn your ship in the direction that you need to go in. Um, there'll be sort of quite a bit of turbulence, things that are occurring. In some cases, doors can close and now you find yourself where you just, where you need to be. But it's a good closing. It's a good ending and a good resolution coming in for you. It could also be that your soul tribe is coming around you. So these are people that um, you have deep bonds with or connections with. They could be soulmates, which could be anybody really, you know, um, anybody that you're close to, um, or it could be to do with your person. Um, but this is like a drawing near of those that you kind of vibe with, you know. Um, and you also have uh, quite often, if it's um, your soul tribe, you have things that you need to do together uh, in some way, shape or form, whether it's just briefly once off and then they go, or whether they're in there for a while, um, just see how it comes in for you. But very, very positive, um, very, very positive movement there. Lovely energy. Um, now, for your person, um, we have uh, Mars Force and we have Mother Mary Expect a Miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So this is um, obviously um, something that your person has requested or has prayed about or who has, uh, you know, trying very hard to manifest is saying expect a miracle um, that, um, you know, that um, this is going to come. Now, it may not appear exactly as they've imagined it. 
you know, universe knows better. So whatever, however it comes is going to be the, the right thing. Now Mars um, is, is obviously the spark of energy. It can be passion. It can be sexual passion. Um, it could be passion within this relationship, passion to pursue you or to pursue a connection or a commitment or the next level, um, whatever the situation may be. Um, there could be a lot of impatience here as well. They could also have to, they could be facing a bit of a challenge around um, getting to, to be with you if you're not quite together yet or you're still in the beginning phases. Um, um, they may have to um, they may have to step up in some way um, to to connect uh, with you or with with the path that you're trying to get on here. Um, so, but it could also just be general impatience. There could be a, a sort of a, you know tempers rising, but I do feel it's more energetic. This is about something coming in for them, and now they're going after it. Um, this is enthusiastic, passionate. Um, and, uh, you know, very forceful action, very, you know, they, it, it's about moving forward and, and going after what they want, but without, you know, stepping uh, on people or on situations to get there. This is a sort of a measured action is the very best way to use this energy. By all means, move forward, uh, but do it in a kind of a, a measured way. Um, and it's like tempered steel, you know, but very, very powerful, passionate action, very enthusiastic uh, as I said, there could be a little bit of ego in there as well, or there could be a little bit of um, like competition or challenge, some sort of challenge. Maybe they consider you a challenge at this point. Maybe you're getting on with um, other aspects of your life. You know, take it as it resonates for you. If you've been together already for a long time, and you have a family or whatever, then read into it. Um, this is some energy. This is some sort of, you know, uh, movement, um, um, or it could just be a, a, a reignition of something. But uh, expect a miracle and something is coming in for them. We've also got here, um, confidence is your key to success. So new moon and Leo. So this is coming in for one or either of you, uh, or both of you with, uh, you know, with the energy of the relationship. It's saying that, um, the new moon is always a, a beginning. Uh, as I said, a clean slate, a new start of some sort. And it's all the Leo qualities, which you're very much in touch with. So there's, um, it's about, you know, going after what is important. Um, and there's honor, there's integrity coming in here as well. There's courage. Um, there's optimism. Um, there could be, uh, you know, children could be involved. Uh, it's very heartfelt energy, very fiery energy, um, all of those th sorts of things. Um, but it can also be um, just be aware that, uh, as, I, as I did say, that a bit of ego and a bit of pride could be coming in as well. Um, but this is, uh, you know, loving action. It's it's very heartfelt action, and it's, you know, it's almost like being the in the in the spotlight as well, being. Um, noticed in some way and the confidence is going to help um, one or either of you whoever's you know really connecting to this energy and um, we have got here a uh, white Taurus sensitivity and we've got eighth house endings and beginnings so uh, what this is saying is um, that currently at the moment the current situation there's some sort of cycle shift going on and that's already you know, here with you for the um, butterfly maiden transformation. I mean, your person may have been for, through a quiet phase, but now they're getting the Mars energy. So now there's a cycle shift. They're moving forward. You can read into it as you like, but it's um, endings and beginnings. So it can be the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one um, or the end of a phase. Um, or the um, end of a chapter and a start of a new one. It can also be um, like a regeneration of something that has kind of slowed down and ended and now it's a regeneration of some other aspect of the relationship. It can also be um, connected to like a birthing, um, birthing something. Maybe that is an option, you know, if you, if you've been together already for a while, perhaps that's an option for you, but it is very much about union energies as well. How's that going to come together? Now, I did mention that, that, that would, um, that could be challenged. Certainly, um, you know, the first week of July, simply because of the Uranus and Saturn energy. Um, they're at a quite a hard angle to each other and they're going to be um, also at quite a hard angle to Mars and Venus. Uh, but it's all about highlighting um, uh, weaknesses or areas that need to be addressed and made stronger. That's really what they're going to highlight. So anything to do with the union energies, this is, have you got a really good foundation? Are the two of you really connected um, in, in ways which are going to be long lasting? Um, so it's the material, the emotional, uh, material and emotional resources. How is that going to fit together or how is that fitting together going forward it could also be financially related which I again I said material issues money and uh, value systems your value system may be different from your person's you know there's lots of things that have got to be sorted out 
Um, and, um, it's, so it's, it's the, it's the working that what I've ordered that out. Financial issues. Th- this is normally big finance. So this can be like investments, um, and banking. Tax even may come into it for a while. Um, and it could also be, um, a, you know, sort of accounting and, um, financial matters around that or banking accounts and things and things to do with that. How is this all going to work out? In some cases, if you're older, if you're older in your relationship, then this could be to do with legacies. You know, what sort of legacy are you leaving for your your family or are you going to start building a legacy? What is the situation? And in some cases it can be inheritance as well. But it's normally it's normally to do with um symbolic death not necessarily uh, physical death so this is usually symbolic it could be that one or either of you um ego is falling away this could be your person because they've got mars it's strong ego energy so they may be experiencing a bit of an ego death right now because there's certain things that need to come together you know you can take it as as it, as it resonates um <clears throat> white tara sensitivity it's saying that well all of us are at this moment in time globally we are all in a sensitive frame um and uh, it says here you are becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So clean up your environment, your home. If you are together in a home, clean up, get rid of the toxic stuff um, and anything toxic or triggering in your life, limit or um, get rid of it or release it. Um, anything that's going to trigger you uh, because you will be sensitive. So this can be anything from from people around you. It can be too much media. Um, it can be not spending enough time in nature. Therefore, the, the house, the atmosphere and the environment of the home becomes um, you know, it needs, it needs fresh air. So you, you do that by going out into nature, things like that. It could also be, um, psychic, uh, toxic, toxicity. So picking up vibes from everybody, you know, there's lots of ways that, that this can come in. So take steps to improve your environment, clean up your home the toxic things tidy up do whatever whatever is appropriate for you um if you've got old and broken things in your home release them let them go you know um make room for new things so make sure your environment is is good and healthy for you and your person and um uh, the full moon may be important as i said the um Full moon is going to be in Capricorn on the 24th of June. And this is about your goals, your ambitions and setting up a plan, you know, being determined as well. So all of these um, energies coming in for you. And we have also got the, um, while we're talking about the uh, full moon in Capricorn, Capricorn is uh, connected to the 10th house. So we have the 10th house here. So this could be um, making something official uh, with the 10th house. Uh, because this is normally an authoritative body of some sort, like a government institution um, or some sort of authoritative um, institution. It could be legal. It could be uh, religious. It could be um, something to do with, um, you know, a, a profession, um, uh, sort of career related. It can also be to do with, um, you know, like a, a learning institution. So something of that nature may be coming, but I feel it's more to do with the authority. So whether this is you and your person coming into your power now, and I do feel that this is maybe very much to do with you because of your, your energy you've got here coming into your power. But this is also about maturity. As I said, this is a very um, goal oriented house. Um, and it's also about, um, uh, raising your profile in some way. So you could be making something official between you and your person. Um, but just be aware of, of this energy with the discretion. Okay. Um, but it's, it's also, it's a very mature energy. It's, um, it's got a sort of a public status, your public status. How is that influenced currently at the moment? Are you changing your public status? Um, but it could also be an authority figure in your life. Now, this can be your person. Um, or it could be somebody else in your life that has authority in some way, um, consulting them uh, for something. You know, there's various ways that this com- can come in. But with the full moon in Capricorn, I do feel it is about making a plan, having some sort of goal, ambition, or some sort of um, path that you're going to follow and following it, um, you know, till the very end uh, to make sure that you get there. Um, now we have got um, full moon eclipse here, so conclusions are within reach. So uh, we have had already the full, you know the the eclipse energy. We are um, we've had you know two sets of eclipses now, and um, um, so a lot of things will have come to the surface. So this energy is still uh, lingering, and it's saying conclusions are within reach. So whatever it is that you're driving towards. Uh, 
I'm thinking about the tenth house here, but whatever it is that you're you're try, trying to try, try, sort of trying to transform within your life, within your you personally, or within the relationship, um, it's saying that there is there, that there is going to be a resolution or a conclusion uh, quite soon, and um, I do feel that that will culminate for you, um, and this will be like. Uh, almost like the path that you've set for yourselves now or whatever is occurring in your relationship, how you're going to get there and um, the path that you go on. But it will be, um, this is like a result. This is, um, in some cases, it can be forgiveness and other times it can be gratitude. So I feel it might be gratitude related because you have got Jupiter here as well. So there's lots of things that maybe have uh, have arisen up um, and that you're now going to work through um, through the last part of June and early July. Uh, but there is a, you know, there is a conclusion so within, within reach. Now, um, for the... Um, Advice section, we've got your destiny, we've got Athena in the wisdom. So this is saying that um, this uh, relationship um, or the situation that you are, are in currently is part of your destiny. It's fate. You know, it's something that you simply have chosen for yourself and it's something that you need to go through. And there's not going to be any way around it. You have to go through it. So you might as well buckle down. Um, listen to your inner GPS, which is your inner wisdom. That's going to be your greatest guide at the moment. Um, but it may be that you're choosing a path in your relationship um, or within your own life, depending on how this is relating to you. You're choosing a path which is not uh, for everybody. Um, this is specifically for you. So you're on a path which is unique to you or specific to you. And you're not going to get advice and support from others. Um, this is saying that uh, they, they're going to be busy with their own thing. They're not going to be connecting to you. They're not going to see the same things that you do. All right. So you have to march to your own drummer. You may be different. You may be a black sheep of a family, you know, however it is. Um, it's saying that you've got a very specific path. It's going to be um, a little bit frustrating. There may be some sacrifices along the way, but you will get there because on the other side of this energy is success. You're going to learn a lot during this period. You're going to learn a lot during this process um, or in this relationship, whether it's short term, long term, whatever the situation is. Um, you're going to learn a tremendous amount, but um, you stick with it. Um, you know, listen to your inner guidance. That is going to be your inner GPS. That is how you're going to how you're going to make um, your steps forward. Um, the whole path is not going to be revealed to you. Um, you're going to get um, step by step, um, uh, you know, you know, uh, instructions as you go along. So listen. Um, and um, it, it's kind of a um, you may just be working on your own or you may be working through this quietly on your own. Um, it could also be that you are just following a singular path. Um, that is not for everybody, um, but it's saying that just listen to your inner guidance and that will get you where you need to go. Um, and um, it's a very, it's all about divine timing as well comes in here, but it's also building up incredible inner strength um, that the Yod definitely does that. And um, it is your fate and your destiny and so relating to the relationship as well. But Athena is saying here, inner wisdom, you know what to do, trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. All right, so you know what to do. You're listening to your inner GPS here. Um, there's the owl for wisdom. There's the angel guidance that you have. There's communication here. Um, there's Pegasus, which is all about flight and movement, but also, um, you know, um, tapping into your inner guidance, which is very important. There is the full moon there. So I do feel the, the, the full moon in Capricorn is somehow going to be important for you. Um, and um, it really is about, you know, tapping into that. Um, and if you need to be on your own in order to do that, then do that. So listen to your guidance and then be bold. Go after what it is that you want. Go after what it is that you require. And this could also be applying to your person here because of the Mars energy, which is very, very forceful. It's the Mars is the um, god of war. So this is very strong, um, you know, very kind of masculine energy, whether that's this person is a masculine or a feminine. It's that forward motion that let's get things done um, energy. So once you, I feel once you've decided what it is that you, you know, your path um, with the full moon in Capricorn is going to be a plan some sort of path that you're going to be following once you know what it is once you've made your mind up and you've decided on something then you can move ahead um, listening to your inner guidance for each step of the way if we were shown the full path of our lives we would be intimidated and, and probably would never get out of bed so you're only getting, going to get shown one step at a time because that's that is you know baby steps to get you where you need to go that's really important um, because ultimately um, you know you, you need to make a success of this um, you know this relationship or the situation and uh, that's why you get one step at a time so that you can take one bite at a time 